friends, I invite you to join with me in prayer, and at the end, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for our safety, for our health, for our life, for the leadership of our country and province and communities, for all the people working to keep us safe, for those who are on the front lines, those in the medical field, those doing deliveries, those providing banking services and groceries and all the necessities that we need. We thank you for their sacrifice, for their offering of themselves, and we pray for their protection, that they may be rewarded for their goodness in taking care of us by being protected from illness and harm. We pray for those who are protesting against the restrictions put upon us, even though it may be difficult for us to understand their point of view. We pray for their confusion and pain, and we pray that we might come together as people and as communities and as a country to take whatever steps are necessary to protect each other, especially those who are most vulnerable. We pray for those who are struggling financially because they cannot go back to work. We pray for those who are fearful of illness. We pray for those who have lost loved ones or those who are at home worrying about loved ones in hospital that they cannot visit. Be with us in this difficult time. Help us to feel your presence. Help us to take all the actions we can to share love and connection with one another. We pray for those who are near and dear to us, for those in our community who have extra burdens to carry. We pray that your healing hand would be with Jack and Margaret, Pat and Susan, Evelyn and Deb, James and Violetta and Gina, Trish and Shelley, Lucy and Brenda and Marion, Toby and Kathleen, Jeannie and Marnie and Hugo. May all of these and ones not named be surrounded by good medical care. May they feel strengthened by you in their bodies and minds and spirits. We pray for those among us who are grieving the loss of loved ones. We remember especially the families and friends of Dawn and Ian, Sarah and Adam, Ev and Doug, and so many more. Help us in our grief to trust in your great love and to know that our loved ones are safe in your care and that we are still connected to them. Loving God, you can see into the secret places of our hearts and our minds. You know where we need encouragement, where we need challenge, where we need consolation and comfort. Help us to feel your presence, to feel our connection with you and with one another. Give us what we need, that we may approach each new day with anticipation, with patience, and with joy. We lift all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus, who taught us that you were like a loving parent, always reaching out to welcome us home when we have strayed. And we pray the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. At this time in the service is our time to receive an offering. And so I just want to say thank you to those of you who have continued to make your offerings, whether it's financial or otherwise, contributing to the good of your church and your community. If you'd like to make a financial gift to Cedar United Church, there are several ways to do that, by mailing in a check, by e-transferring our treasurer, or by going online to Canada Helps to our page for Cedar United Church. If you need any assistance with any of those, um, you can contact me or go through the website and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. But thank you for those of you who have been able to help us in this time. And I know that many of you are doing so much else, working and volunteering and reaching out to neighbours. And I thank you for that offering, which is also a way of giving thanks to God by loving your neighbour. Announcements, there's not too many announcements. Marty wanted to be sure that he got a happy birthday. So happy birthday, Marty. His birthday is tomorrow. Uh, we wish we could be singing happy birthday to you in church, but sadly we cannot, but we hope you have a wonderful day. If anybody else has birthdays they'd like to pass along to be announced on our pre-recorded services, I'd be happy to do that. Just drop me a line. Um, I think uh, any other announcements uh, will have been sent to you in previous emails or posted on our website. Um, just as a reminder, we are going to continue to not have in-person gatherings until at least September. We uh, know that there's a movement towards opening churches, but the way to keep those um, gatherings safe includes a very, very long list. And some of it may even not be able to be done in our small church because of not adequate space for keeping us all physically distant. So as for right now, the board has decided that we want to continue caring for one another by keeping each other safe. And so we're going to continue with our uh, pre-recorded services online. And as September gets closer, we'll reassess and see what the world looks like then because we know things have changed so rapidly in the last two months. If you have announcements you'd like to share, please send them into Joan, joan.ryan at shaw.ca, um, preferably by Tuesday, so that she can make sure to pass that along to me. Friends, it's time for the commissioning and the benediction, the sending out and the blessing. And after we have that, we are going to finish our service with one more video of our final hymn, which is Bless Now, O God, The Journey, Voices United, number 633. But before we sing that, I just want to send you out, friends, even if you might not be going out, but just continuing on with your day. Friends, let us go from this place. Not always comfortable with getting lost, but knowing that even when we feel physically or spiritually or mentally lost, that we are never lost to God. That God knows exactly where we are and holds us and loves us. So let us go out with that assurance to reach out to others, to tell them that good news, that they are precious in the sight of God and in our sight. And let us act in the world to let others know that they are cared for and that they are accompanied. As we walk the path of faith together, let us be assured that the blessings of our God, who is creator and Christ and spirit, will be with us this day and always. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Let's sing together and then move into the rest of our day. Blessings, friends.